o'clock. Thanks so much for being with us. I'm Gene Levanchi. I'm Rachel Keller. We have a brief taste of summer on the Me way too. for today. It already feels really, really nice out there. Yeah, so it's a little, like, refreshing to start. It's in the brief 50s thought. now. Yeah, it's like a one day thing. <laughs> After this, it's like clouds come back, chance for rain comes back. I know you're seeing a little spot of green on radar right now. Not much of this is actually getting down to the ground. We do have the chance here uh, before about 7 or 8 a.m. for seeing a quick sprinkle in one or two communities. I'm not concerned. I think it's going to be a wave of clouds coming through for most of you. Maybe you see a quick spritz and have to hit the windshield wiper once or twice on your way into work. That's it. Uh, and you can see how efficiently we clear out today. We've got temperatures at 9 a.m. back to 60 degrees with partly sunny skies. Mostly sunny this afternoon with highs in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. Depending on where you are, take a peek at the screen, everybody. It's 60s far south 70s and I'm thinking upper 70s in the greater Boston area and then spots like the Merrimack Valley into southern New Hampshire hot spots where we're off to the 80s. Catherine can't wait for that. Let's take you over to the expressway. Unfortunately things heating up there in the way of your slowing down. We have a lot of congestion that's starting to build. HOV lane is moving and as we flip over to the map it doesn't look quite so overdone there. It's our moderate volume coming up Quincy into Dorchester coming down 93 from the Cloverleaf and Route 1 on in Chelsea I should say. We cleared our 495 crash that we had in Tewksbury or tapping the brakes coming down from 495 on Route 3 and we are sluggish from Methuen all the way into Andover on 93. We'll check south of Boston with some drive times. Yeah, so I mean here's the deal. Warm air is moving in today. We've got a little warm front passing through this morning with some early clouds and the chance for an early spritz. Most of you will be dry and you will be surprised how quickly it clears out today and that warm air takes over. So bus stop forecast this morning on your way into work and school. I'd say just grab like a light jacket. I'd say umbrellas not necessary even though I've got one or two sprinkles on radar, it is just not a big deal. Afternoon, go for the short sleeves, go for the tank tops. We've got 70s and 80s, and we've got some bright and breezy conditions for today. Looks like 80 degrees in Framingham, Lawrence, Fitchburg, and Manchester, New Hampshire. I've got about 79 today in Worcester, 78 in Boston. We'll keep it coolest Dartmouth, Hyannis, the Vineyard. Spots on the southern coastline where the winds are coming in off the water. So this afternoon, I'd say on average 79 or 80 degrees. Warm, bright, and breezy sums it up. This is your most summer-like day of the whole week. So soak it up, enjoy it, make the most of it. Tonight, we've got the chance for a passing rain shower inland. Most of you will be dry tonight as temperatures sink back into the 50s. And tomorrow, I've got things at about 74 degrees. And we're still tracking a spot shower. Most of the day is going to end up likely being dry. So this is a look at this afternoon with a couple of thunderstorms out there anywhere from northern New England to western New England. I wouldn't be surprised if southern Vermont up to about Lakes region has one or two thunderstorms, but locally, we're just enjoying sunshine and a few clouds out there this afternoon and of course the warmth overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. You can see a little bit of green popping up again, mostly inland and then for tomorrow just a couple hit or miss showers. This is not a washout situation. This isn't even a situation where everybody is going to get rain. It's just very tough in advance to tell you exactly what towns and cities will. I can tell you Cape and Islands have the lowest chance for showers tomorrow. So next up on your radar, everybody is this ongoing chance for on and off showers. Thursday, our shower chances will actually peak as our disturbance passes at its closest to our south. Friday and Saturday, it's pulling away. I'm hopeful that we'll end up dry, but we still have the chance for a few showers out there. The rainfall forecast, by the way, uh, from today all the way through the weekend doesn't look massive at most like half an inch of rain. This is not I think we've all been waiting for today. Yeah. It's going to be beautiful. Yeah, you guys are. I wore my flip flops into work today. So did I. Yeah. Nice. Did, did you wear your flip flops, Jean? <laughs> no, I did not. That was very aggressive. Size it was. Size 11 and a half, and I got to pull the socks up. I need new elastic in these socks. Somebody get Gina anyway. a pair of socks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's what we have. We've got temperatures right now in the 50s, so it's a little cool. I don't think your toes will be freezing cold if you go with the flip-flops today, but they will be very thankful this afternoon, I promise, because it gets so warm out there. So we've got 50s. We've got some passing clouds. No more than a little sprinkle headed for Portsmouth, New Hampshire over the next hour. Uh, and then we're looking good. You can see how quickly it brightens up. We've got temperatures in the mid 60s by 10 a.m. We've got noontime at about 72 and high temperatures flirting with 80 degrees out there this afternoon. So between the heat and the sunshine, uh, it is going to feel very summer like I say best chances for 80s today. Metro West and Merrimack Valley cool spot south coast where highs will only be in the 60s. We'll take a town by town look coming up.